Hello, so the aim of this video is to just get our first application running out onto our Android device from Red Studio. So I'm just going to Tools, Manage Platforms. You will need to make sure that you have got the Android uh, platforms ticked and installed on Professional or Enterprise or even Community Edition. Um, the one thing I will say, certainly under additional options, make sure you have some samples um, enabled. Um, there's some really good mobile samples to have a look through, um, which kind of show some of the power of being able to get the same code running on iOS and Android. Um, there's also the uh, JDK in here, which you need to make sure that you've got installed, and the Android SDK. Now, if you've already got those um, set up on your machine, then you might not need to install them directly from Mad Studio but um, they're very, very useful to make sure that you've got all the setup needed to be able to compile and package and push the application onto the Android device. It puts all the Android developer tools in. If you're having any problems under tools, options, you can have a look at the platforms. So under deployment, SDK manager, and in here we can see both the Android SDK for 32 and 64 bit. Uh, and we can also see that there's the SDK and the NDK paths and the root for path for Java as well, so the, the key tools and, and so on. So if you're having any problems, this is a really good place to be able to just set up your environmental variables, uh, especially if you've already got things installed. So hoping that that is all good. Uh, if there's any problems, you will see a little warning sign on those. But assuming everything is good, let's go ahead and just open up a project and get it deployed out onto Android. So I'm going to go and create a multi-platform application here. And I'm just going to choose a Plank application. And I'm just going to put down a button and uh, an edit control and a label here. And uh, just to kind of keep everything nice, let's just go ahead and line this. I'll line this one to the top. And this one to the top as well. Uh, and then this one to the top. Uh, now, if you want to change orders, you can just kind of drag these around. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can say, well, actually, the edit should be always above. So you can just put most top, and it will put that to the top of the top stuff. Um, just to help with the prettiness here, I'm just going to put a little bit of padding on. Oh, sorry, margins. Paddings on the inside of the controls, on the outside. There we are. Let's just give a little bit of space. And let's make this button a little bit bigger. And the uh, button here, so we're just going to say label one dot text equals edit one dot text. Very, very complicated uh, application, but it will just do serving the, uh, the purpose here. So I can test that quickly here locally on Windows. That's all good. And so what we need to do now is just choose our target platform. So I'm going to choose uh, Android 64. And we can see at the moment I've got no targets. Um, I have got the libraries and the configurations available to me. So I can choose if this is a development build or if it's an app store build. And um, that's for another date. But if you're choosing an App Store build, then under the project options, you can set up the configuration for the packaging for the app. First, we need to get the device to show in our target so we can run it directly to the device. So I'm going to just jump back to my Mac for a moment and I'm going to open up Reflector, which is a really cool program that's going to allow me to show you my screen on my Android device as we go through the next part. So first thing I need to do is just tell my Android device to cast to the screen. There we are. So in your device settings, if you go down to uh, system and then about the phone and under the build number, if you just start tapping that, you can see it will come up telling you that you're about to become a developer. And then just put in your pattern or your password. And you're now a developer on the phone. And you'll see this developer options up here. So what we do need to do is just make sure that we've got USB debugging enabled. 
And that should allow us now to be able to use this device directly from the IDE. So the next thing I'm going to do is got a, a USB cable plugged into my Mac here. I'm just going to connect that in. And I'm going to connect this into Windows. And we can now see it's asking me if I want to allow USB debugging. And this is the key fingerprint for the VM that I'm connecting into. So I'm going to say, yeah, always from this computer and say, OK. And I can just tap out of that. Don't really need anything more there. And if we go back into Windows now, we can see that it's found the device. And it's set up and it's ready to go. Uh, which is great. So if we just refresh our target devices here it should pop up and we can see my phone's appeared. Now if you have any problems with that appearing here this is using the ADB command line tools from the from the Java uh, from the Android um, development uh, tools so um, you can query a command line just using the ADB um, devices commands to, to pull that up and find the list uh, and I'll share a blog post on the uh, the links below just to how to find that if you need any more advanced um, setup. Okay, so my device is plugged in, it's connected up, I'm on developer build. I should literally now be able to hit run or run with debugging. So I'm going to hit run with debugging. Now the other thing to consider here is the build configuration. So at the moment I'm on a debug build and um, there's also a release build. Now the release builds will compile a lot quicker and they will deploy a lot quicker as well because they're smaller bundles. If you're using the debug build then you're going to have a lot of the debug information attached as well. So it will take slightly longer to deploy. So it's now packaging and signing up my uh, my package and I'm literally just going to uh, let's take this out full screen here so we can see this running side by side. And we can now see that it's launched up. Okay so I'm just going to put a breakpoint in my code under the, the button one click and uh, let's go ahead and just type in hello on Android. And if I hit the button now, we can see that we've now got the full call stack showing up here. We've got the breakpoint executed within the IDE. So we can see by using the mouse here exactly what is being passed in. We can also create watches in here if you wanted to um, put in different things. So let's put in edit1.text and we could see the watch come up which is quite a nice way to do things. Uh, if we just uh, carry on through we can see the update on the screen. I'm just going to take the breakpoint off now <laughs> and use my finger on the screen. Uh, hello on Android 2 and we can see that's immediately kind of responding and coming back. So that's pretty cool, that's a quick intro to making sure that you can get your first Android application out onto your device.